So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get a character that you built in uh, Blender and how to bring it into uh, Accurig to then bring to Unreal. I'm going to go select the character. And um, so I'm going to go here and bring it in. So I'll bring the character in and place it, uh, you know, you can always redo this if ever something went wrong. Um, I'm just going to rig it. It's pretty close. And I'm going to just show you this character actually like, um, if I just click the button and let it go, it, the animation will be kind of droopy. I'm going to just rig the right hand and I'm going to change this to zero because I don't have any fingers uh, for this low poly model, which is kind of an easy way to work with students. You don't want to get too fancy with uh, finger animations and everything. Um, so you'll see the character is really drooping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the body rig and very easily you can fix anything that you see that's wrong with your animation and let's say I do this and you know I could also click symmetry here but um, I didn't do it but it'll be fine so I'm going to rig it again so oh, I just got to rig this and finalize the character I had to click twice there but just miss that and it was drooping the last time, so let's see what it looks like now. And the, car the shoulders are a lot more realistic. Maybe I want to see what it looks like with a walk. Looks pretty good. There's no clipping there. So I'm going to now export this. Export as FBX. And I'm going to click Unreal so I can get the Unreal Skeleton. And basically use the same rig that I've already... Uh, I'll just call this Rigged 2. Since I did this earlier, I don't want to get a mixed... So here I am, I'm in Unreal Engine. I just created a new folder. So let's uh, rename this. I'm going to press F2 just because it's quicker. I'm going to go Blender. All right, so I'm going to give it a color like I like to do just to make sure it's easy to see. And I'm going to now go and import my skeleton for my Blender model, which is called low poly rigged and as I showed you uh, in the past the same way you bring this in as you would uh, the Mixamo characters and if you reset this don't forget to click this ref pose so that it brings in uh, the uh, root animation this takes a second I'm going to just click there's going to be a little error with the uh, skeletal mesh and I'll show you how to fix that so it's because of the way we did the uh, the, the uh, skeleton, the texturing, I should say. So go to Sprite Action. So under, if you brought it in and you see this little issue, we go here, Sprite Action, and we're going to apply the two these settings. And I'm going to now go and create a material, and I'll just click that one. And when I go back to my character, um, I'll just go back to this material the one I just created that is and I'm going to click here and there's my character the way I want them so I'll click save and we're now ready to test the animation so in our previous setup the EXO has a uh, rig and the Accu rig was set up with him um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set it up with my low poly character click save and I'm also going to use Unreal Engine 4 animation. So this is the wrong one. So I want to go to where I put my Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5. I put it here. Now you may have, if you've been watching the tutorials, I would have showed you how to set these up already. So this is UE4 to UE5. So I'm going to open that and I'm going to change. So this UE4 to go to my low poly character. And I will click save. And what I want to do now is I want to go get the animations that I've downloaded that are UE4 animations. Um, if you, you had UE5 animations, you would just use the UE5 to UE4 that I've already showed you how to build. Um, I don't know. Let's see. It doesn't really matter as long as one of these opens up. Now, remember, we don't have hands. So sometimes there's... Okay, so... Characters afraid. 
Um, not sure I like that one. What about this one here? So he's a zombie. Okay, I like that. So let's. Um, AS Zombie is the one I'm looking for. Oh, there's just so many animation in this pack. It's like. I'll just. I just want to get one that I can use here. Um, cleaning the street. Okay, let's try this one. So I'm going to go here, right click. Now I could retarget several at the same time, but I want to show you. We want to check and make sure it works. And since I've saved this, I don't want this one. I want this one. So it's going to retarget this. And I'm going to, now if this would work, I would, let's just test it first. Okay, we're going to click retarget. And let's click. And there you go. We have our animation. So in a really quick workflow. Now, what would I do to organize this a little better? I would strongly recommend that you create a folder called Anims here. And all your animations for this character, give them a nice color. Uh, I would put them in here so that whenever I go do my sequencer, I'll be able to uh, go and grab all the animations that I need. So that's pretty much how you get a, con a custom character that you built in Blender. Um, one thing I may have forgotten to mention whenever you bring in a character from Blender, I'll just show you here. Uh, you want to make sure that you, uh, I'll write yes, yes, and I just want to show you. You need to merge the skeleton. It's not letting me do it, which is kind of silly because I just did it. But um, make sure you merge the skeleton. Okay, if you have any other questions, please let me know.